In last week's video, I talked about the reasons why people should go to BYU. So in this week's video, I want to talk about the reasons why you should not go to BYU. I have a feeling that this video might be a little longer. So let's dive right in. I'm not trying to be controversial with this statement, so let me explain. As I have mentioned before, I come from a poor, half Venezuelan, half Ecuadorian, Hispanic family with parents who are converts to the church and never attended college, which is the opposite of most students at BYU, who were for the most part white from the Midwest, from middle to upper social class families who have been going to BYU since Brigham Young's time. So in many ways, this made me a minority of a minority of a minority, which was difficult for me. Due to these differences, it was hard for me to connect to others. I was so frustrated my first semester at BYU that I almost transferred to another school, but that's a story for another time. These feelings even bled into my gospel worship while I was there. Going to church in Provo was the first time that I really didn't want to go to church. I just didn't relate to any of the teachers, most of the bishopric, and members of the ward. Instead of going to class, many times I would go study by myself in an empty classroom because I felt I got more out of church that way. One of the biggest factors in feeling different from everyone was definitely race. I simply looked different from most students there, and many students didn't know how to act around me. Looking back, I feel this was mostly due to ignorance. For example, oftentimes people who I had never met in my life would come up to me and start speaking Spanish before they even knew my name. Or they would ask me questions about other Hispanic countries that I didn't really know much about, like Mexican culture. That would be like me going up to someone in Utah and asking them about food in Canada. They would probably just be really confused like I was. Like I said, these awkward interactions were mostly due to ignorance, but that doesn't mean just because I was at BYU that prejudice and racism didn't exist there. I had a friend who was black that I would hang out with sometimes, and he was going on dates with a girl that happened to be white. I remember running into him one day and asking him how things were going with that girl. He said that they had broken up, and I asked him why, and he kind of sighed and said it was because her parents didn't want their daughter dating a black guy. I was shocked when he told me this. I couldn't believe the blatant racism that still existed, even at BYU. This was definitely an extreme case of racism that I witnessed. However, I also had personal experiences of prejudice with some students and even administration on campus, which I'll probably discuss in a future video. The point I'm trying to make isn't that BYU is racist or prejudiced. The point I'm trying to make is that BYU is going to be a very difficult place to adjust academically, socially, and emotionally unless you come from a stereotypical BYU student's background. In my opinion, that's probably the biggest reason why you shouldn't go to BYU. Oh yeah, BYU also sucks at sports. I did end up graduating from there and I am happy that I decided to stay there, but there are times when I wonder if I would have been happier at another school. So what was your experience at BYU? Comment below and share it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.